Welcome to our second battle of the Onslaught campaign out of the Siege of Chthonia campaign book. Assuming I haven't mispronounced that too, too terribly wrong. So this time we're playing the Heart of Battle mission. We're playing at 1500 points. This is our normal battle level. Uh, we chose this level partially for time, partially because that's all the points we have readily assembled and still have options to switch the armies around a bit. We just decided to play the next mission in sequence in the book, so we did not roll this, it just happened to be the next mission. Table and terrain provided by the local Warhammer World Battle Bunker here in town. They had everything set up in advance, so neither of us could try to do something sneaky. Graham still hasn't picked his campaign stratagems, so I decided to be a good boy and not to select any of the ones that I had already chose either. So let's see what happens. So Heart of Battle uses a single objective marker, and you have to set it up as close to the center of the table as possible. Remember your rules, don't set it up in places that you can't actually put it. If you control the objective, at the end of your player turn, you get three victory points. Remember, only line troops and other units specifically mentioned in their rules can control an objective. Just about anything else can contest an objective. Standard secondary objectives from the campaign book were also used, and the game will end after four turns. We were able to use the reserves rule, but Graham won the roll-off and got the strategic advantage. He opted not to use Night Fight for this game. We went with simple Dawn of War deployments, so that's 12-inch deployment zones along the long edges of the board. Unfortunately, I didn't grab a shot of the Imperial Fist list, but they went by Pride of the Legion Right of War. And they had a Praetor and Cataphract Armor, one squad of 10 Cataphract Terminators with mixed close combat weapons and some ranged weapons, mostly uh, combi bolters. And then there was one squad of 10 Tartarus Terminators and they all had combi bolters and power fists with the exception two had Reaper Auto Cannons. One Leviathan armed with both types of close combat weapons and two Vindicator Tanks, one with a Demolisher Cannon the other with a Magna Laser Destroyer. Space Wolves had one Jarl, one Tactical Squad, all with chain bayonets, a Sergeant with a Power Weapon and a Plasma Pistol, one Slayer Squad, all with Combat Shields, Pistols and Forensian Axes, the Huskarl, or Sergeant, had a Thunder Hammer, one Stalker Squad, all with Rifles, Chain Swords and Pistols, again Huskarl with the Thunder Hammer, one Contemptor Dreadnought with the Melt-A-Gun and Power Fist. The missile launcher is on the model, but it's not really there. It's a figment of your imagination. One Proteus Land Raider with Searchlight. Everything else is standard weapon layout. And one Kratos with the Flare Shield, the Auto Cannon, Melta Blast Gun, two Hall Mounted Heavy Bolters, and two Sponson Last Cannons, and a Searchlight. So here's my Space Wolf list, 1500 points. We have my Jarl again, same loadout as before. I have a Contemptor Dreadnought with my Melta Fist. The Havoc Missile Launcher is not there, I just don't feel like breaking it off the model. I have three squads of infantry. First squad is a Tactical Squad, all with chain bayonets. Second squad is a Stalker Squad, all with chainsaws, bolters, and pistols. The sergeant has a thunder hammer. And the third squad is a squad of slayers. And again, the sergeant has a thunder hammer. Next, we have the Kratos. Nice got the melta gun. Two bolters and the side sponsons are las cannons. And then I have the Proteus. And he's a standard Proteus. There's nothing extra on him. He's got the bolters and the las cannons. So this is the Space Wolf deployment. I've got my Land Raider with my Slayers and my Jarl inside. Tactical Squad hiding in the ruins. Stalker Squad hiding behind the pipes. Contemptor hiding behind the containers. 
and the Kratos hiding behind the ruins because over there we have large Terminator squad with the Praetor, another Terminator squad with the Vindicator with, what was it, Laser Destroyer on it? Yep. Another Vindicator with the cannon, and then we have the Leviathan hiding over there. And that's it for deployment. So this is what the table looks like. As you can see, Leviathan, Vindicator, Vindicator, more Terminators, and even more Terminators. Yeah. And our center objective right there in the center of the table. Yeah, that's right. So turn one, this is the fifth turn. Uh, the Vindicator came forward, Leviathan's trying to hide behind the containers. This other Vindicator, he just rotated a little bit and that's it. Neither of the Terminator squads have moved. Wait for it. So end of the fifth turn one, uh, we discovered neither of the Vindicators have anything in line of sight. He just didn't aim them quite right. Uh, and the Terminators are all out of range. So that's going to end turn one. I think you may be able to revise that. Here. So the end of turn one from Pyro Fist, neither Vindicator has anything in the straight forward arc of the hull mount. And the Terminators are all out of range to shoot their weapons. That's mm all. -hmm. And the Vindicator is not close enough and it's not a line troop, so there's no points for grabbing the objective at this point. So first turn zero for the Iron Fist. So, Space Wolf, turn one. The Land Raider moved the maximum speed up to here, mid table. The Tactical Squad climbed into the ruins to get better line of sight to cover the objective. The Stalkers have run forward and they're ready to claim that objective. The, hopefully, the Contemptor moved forward, maximum speed, and the Kratos moved at half speed. He hasn't got line of sight at that Vindicator or at that Leviathan, but he can shoot through the ruins and see the Vindicator. But I think it's only fair to give him a 5 plus save. He definitely more than 25% in the cave. Yeah. So we're going to take and have my Contemptor here take a shot at the Vindicator, you're within 24 inches. Uh, yeah. Actually, you're within 18 inches. So, doubly safe there. Oh, yeah, no, you're not. So, I need two shots. Reloading misses. I'll hit you twice with a two. These are strength eight. Your front armor is what? 13? So, I'm going to need a 5 to glance, 6 to penetrate. And I rolled snake eyes. However, you jinxed yourself. Yeah, I did too. Not my fault. You can't blame me. So, that's it for the Melta. Uh, Good thing, too. Looking at the Kratos. He's only got 36 inch range with his Melta. I think he's going to be outside of range. There's 36. Oop, can I get a view from the Russian judge? Am I over top of your tent? Yes, you are. Okay, so firing the auto cannon first. Two shots. Two hits. That means I can reroll misses on the Melta cannon. Watch me. So, heavy four, I need four dice. Rolling to hit. Oh, wait, he only. I was wrong. He only has business skill four. So, I only got one hit with the auto cannon. But I get to re roll the miss here. I will hit you four times with the melt gun. You are outside the melt range, so I only roll 1d6. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, I found your armory. What's your sidearm? 
You're oh, still that is, I believe it was last time, 13. Double check? Yep. Meanwhile, I'll roll strength 8. If it's 13, I need 5s and 6s to penetrate. I will have one penetration for sure. The ones and two okay, won't do anything. That, I believe, is fire support vehicle. Parents, indicators coming up shortly. Yes. Krathos is 14. Yeah. So we don't need yeah, one indicator. Uh, Indicator is 13 and 13 side, 10 from the okay. rear. So I got one penetrating hit. You get your save, 5 plus. Go ahead, roll it in the trade. Okay. 5 plus. Missed the trade, oh. but you failed. So let's roll on the damage. And this is an AP1 weapon, so you add two to the roll. Four becomes a six. Immobilized. Oh. So you cannot move the vehicle, but all your weapons are in place. So basically it's fire forward. I can shoot at your camera. However, I still get two last cannons. Oh. Oops, and I missed. Are you talking the about The three me? will miss. Or sorry, the one will miss, the three will hit. Yeah. Strength nine and five. That'll give it 14. That's a penetrating hit. Yeah. Only plus one on the dice this time. And that's three. a three. Three is crew shaken. Only snapshots next turn. Oh, okay. That's for that right that's there. That's for that one there. That's what I forgot. I made some counters. So that's basically all I have for shooting at this point. Uh, I'm not going to shoot the stalkers, they don't really have a target. Same with the tactical troops. Land Raider is completely blocked off at this point. So that's going to end my turn. However, I am within three inches of the objective, so I will claim three points for the Space Wolves on turn one. There we go. So this Vindicator is immobilized, so the Leviathan had to walk around him. These Terminators realize their mistake. They need to get into combat or at least into conflict range with the Stalkers in order to deny points. This Vindicator ran around the ruin. He's looking to get a straight shot through the curtains and containers trying to block off the Kratos and the other Terminators are dancing straight forward to see what kind of damage they can do. Mm -hmm. Where did I put the tape measure? Oh, no. I have so many. Okay, so Graham's Vindicator can land a shot here which could hit those guys. Unfortunately he will scatter. Yes. Seven inches. That's going to drop it over oh, here. He's guy. still going to hit one guy. Uh, what's the strength? Man, ten, this, isn't it? I think it's ten. So, you ten failed more. to wound, you rolled a one. Yeah, that sucks. That sucked. And he didn't even roll it into the dice tray where I could have kept it. Uh, too late. Oh, I'm going to just grass him here so to speak. Uh, uh, it's not a good day. They're too late waiting for me. Okay. And be not feeling Um. Do you actually have a Havoc Missile on here with you? Yes, I do. Right there. Did and you want to shoot that? Is, that has a more... He does have a it can move, turn. So I'm going to shoot. But what's the strength of it? Uh, about six. Better find out. Because yeah, if it's is. higher than six, it has to fire the same target. Uh, yes, I know. But if it's six or less, it becomes an anti infantry weapon, you can redirect it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course, I don't have any. I think. So we're going to pause until he can find out. So, where do you want to place this first? Right That's on the Which guy? In the that guy. Alright. So, roll your scatter and 2d6. Uh, d6. Direct hit. So, you're going to hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys. Seven guys, seven dice. So strength five, you're wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your scatter dice. Yes. And you can roll back into the dice tray. Seven guys, you said? Seven guys into the dice tray. Oh, you're just making it difficult. <laughs> So let's say, uh, for example, so side side the tree. There's a four. So you needed three plus, you've got one, two, three that failed to move. So five wounds. Five wounds, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm assuming it's not eight and three. Yep. So I need to save on um, up to three plus. I will so save them all. all. So much for the Havoc Launcher. Uh, will, okay, so the next weapon. What are we doing? Oh. Combi Bolter. They can shoot up the guys. So It's been to mount it? Yep. So okay. It's two shots. Over here, into the tray. So I'm uh, use, yeah, I can hit, yeah, and re-roll. <laughs> Six, okay. two, hits. two hits, roll the wound, you need four. Two wounds, three plus save, yep. oops. Well, I made you re-roll that, so I'm going to do the same thing again. Save them both. Boo! Okay. All right, all right. So that takes care of the Vindicator. Who's next? Yeah, the Vita has Volcat, uh, two Volcat Colt, uh, Kenley Volcite. Uh, yeah. And, 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 and he can see six, seven guys. Yeah. So there are all of them. Six, AP, five. I get six shots. So as long as he has low power, he can continue to cast as long as he makes the condition of the What is it? You needed two to hit because you're boost of skill five. They all hit. Uh -huh. And you said they're strength six? Yep. So six against toughness four. I believe you're wounding on two still. Yeah. So four strength six. No, twos. Yep. So roll again. I, oh, yeah. Well, we got, yeah. No, I rolled these all. So that was just a little thing. You don't have to yeah. 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 Twos are going to be massive. So you got four wounds. I need three pluses to save. Yeah, but it's all Go ahead. How can you use that? Two will fail. You get to roll two more wounds. Yep. Cool. You got two more. Uh, I will save those. Move so I will lose two guys, and the okay. unit yeah. has to be guys that you can see. So I'm just going to take the two guys and back. Uh, All right. Okay. Oh, I got two melted guns yeah. in the claws. You have to move okay. Actually, I have one melted gun. I may have to double check that. No. What's the range of your melted gun? 12 inches. You're, so I can only you can shoot, shoot at this one guy. Yeah. So I'm only going to fire. Hit. Uh, hit. You need a one or two to wound. You wound. Uh, it's an AP one weapon, yeah, so I'm so going to lose guy another, guy. another guy. So okay. that'll be 30% of the squad. I'm going to have to take a leadership test. I'm going to disqualify all Graham's rules because he's not hitting the dice tray yet. Well, you do that too, you know. So, do you have any more shooting first? Yes, my guys right here and two okay. guys here. That's gonna be convoluted. Uh, okay. It's not gonna matter because I got a three plus save from everything. Yes, anymore, right? and I get my bonus because they're combi, bo uh, combi bolters. Okay. I get the. Who's within 12 inches? That. You're gonna have to. Here, let's hold up. We're going to have to... Where's your closest guy? Right there. Is he within 12? Okay. Just a second. No. Okay, it's so 13. it's single shots each. With three rolls. With three rolls. So I got... Okay, I also got the Reaper on cannons there too. So, I'm just going to do this safely. Okay. Rapier auto cannons. 
Poor man. Maybe he'll use his shield this time. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to go pick one of him as well. Shooting. I guess I can't shoot. You can't shoot in combat. I can. Because I'm evil. I don't care if I hit my Two own people. Two shots. I got four shots total. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the rapier, they should have well, this one. Strength 7, AP 4, heavy 2, it's rending on 6, and put a link. Well, first you have to hit. Yeah. And, and those aren't both, so you don't get a bonus for those. You no. Uh, three. Two miss, but you get your reroll. Yep. Also, auto time. No. You still only get two hits. Yeah. So, uh, roll the wound, and a six makes it an AP2 set. Yes. No. There was a five. Yeah, uh, Rendy. I get a Rendy. Right. What's the Rendy number? Doesn't matter. It's one to two. Six plus. So, you didn't get any sixes, but you rolled a two at a street seven, you said? Yep. So, that all wound. Yeah. Okay. But you said it's AP4, so I still get my arm saved. Yep. Yep. I save it. Okay. Uh, How many bolters do we have? Yeah. And then so one, two, three, four bolters, single shots each. And you get plus one to hit for bolters, so you're hitting on two. Yeah. And they all hit. You need force to go. Okay. Um, and I see three wounds. Yeah. So, three saves. Yeah. I will save them all. That's not fair. And that's that bull kite pistol thing with two shots? Yes, sir. No, I have to go fight the stats. What's the range on? Yeah. Um, with your one shot that hits on a two plus. I'm going to have to do what you do. Okay. Okay. The Vulcan Charger or something like that, or Culliver. Yeah, it's a, shoot, it's a two shot weapon. That's yeah, the range. that's an assault. It has 15 range. Total. 15 range? Yeah. I, yeah, I'm going to give it to you. It looks like you got. But it'll only be this guy here that you can see. I can see those three two. guys. Doesn't matter, you only got two shots. Yeah, I know. So, so three to hit, one miss. Yeah. And, and I get a really good one. All of my might. You get a single shot. Hit. Now roll the wound. Alright. Well, two. You roll the roll one. one. Yeah. Yeah. My turn. Yeah. So that takes care of their yeah. shooting. Yeah. So my stalker suffered 30% casualties. I have to roll my leadership or lower. Leadership is eight. I rolled a 10. I am going to run like a scared little girl. Oh, well, roll your distance, please. Distance is going to be... Not very far. Six, six inches. Six is. So, so you can recover. So because my stalkers failed their leadership, they fled six inches. They are outside the charge range of the Terminators of 12 inches. So the Terminators don't have a chance to charge. So for the end of their turn, they still do not get the three points for controlling the objective. Neither do you, though. But neither do I. But it's still my not my turn. It's at the end of my turn that I have to do that. I already moved, so. So we'll have to see what happens now. Yeah. Uh, next turn. The problem is, how many turns is And we're on turn two. There's only two more turns. Yes, I know. So there's no other charges. So we're basically done. Tough. Imperial uh, Fist, turn two. Oh. So this is the Space Wolf, turn two. I have to do a rally test. Yep. <laughs> so, rolling for the morale for my stalkers. You're not laughing, how come? I make it with an eight. Oh. Barely. <laughs> so I get to move my initiative forward. So I have initiative four. These guys are just going to move back up. It won't be close enough to get the points, get the points yet. But the next turn, I'm going to be here. We'll see what happens. I'll be there. I'll be there. Ah. <sighs>
So the next thing to determine, what do I want to do here? Oh, we could move five inches. So I'm going to move the Kratos forward a little bit. Just a little bit. And he has a target-rich environment now. Very rich. And I don't want to move. I almost moved my Contemptor Dreadnought over to the side, but that would put me in arc of that, and he's still alive, so I don't want to do that. Oh, come on now. And because I put those guys on top, that's going to screw me up trying to do something else. So I'm going to take and move my Land Raider. At this point, I think I'll just continue moving him this way. Apparently not. They have cargo harnesses or something, I think. Yeah. So, here we go. Well, that is exactly what the Finesse would do, to be honest. Yeah, um... So, not quite full speed, but we'll leave him there like that. And as much as I want to move these guys, I think I'm better off just leaving them where they are. Come on now. They have a mission to accomplish, and it's not going to get accomplished by running forward and die. So let's go to the shooting phase. <laughs> what will the Kratos shoot first? Well, we got lots of targets to choose from. I could shoot at the dreadnought. Oh yeah. I could shoot at the terminators. Let's see, what should I shoot at? Uh, let's start with the auto cannon. I may as well shoot everything at those terminators. If I can stop them from advancing and grabbing the objective, it makes it easier for me later on. Because the town is by the way. Yeah, or because of the formation you chose. Yeah. So, firing the auto cannon, two shots, hitting on threes. I will hit you twice with auto cannons. Ooh. That means I get to reroll my shots with the melt a cannon. Melt a cannon has a 36 inch range. Oh yeah. I'm just not within half range yet. So four shots with the melt a cannon. Needing threes again, rerolling. Don't even need to do that. So let's do that first. Melt the cannons. Four shots. Strength eight, toughness four. I'm killing you on twos. Actually, if you wound me, you kill me. Yeah, one will miss. So you need to take your invulnerable saves from the Melta. How many, sir? Three. Three. Yeah. And you save two. Your invulnerable is five, isn't it? E Actually, it's. For the card tools, it's five. Yeah, so you roll one four, one guy dies instantly. Yeah, and it doesn't matter with multiple wounds either. It's no, double it's over toughness. Yeah, it's over kill. So one kill, it's... Um, you get to choose anyone in that grouping. Okay, oh, uh, he's gone. Two last cannons, I'll shoot those. Okay. Both will hit. Strength nine, choose to kill. <laughs> Oh lordy, snake eyes. I love those last cannons. But I still have the auto cannon, strength seven. Again, they're wounded on two. I'm not worried then. One wound. However, I think it's only AP3. Let me double check. Vehicles. Okay. Auto cannon. AP4. You get your basic two plus save. So, you get past, I wrote a six. Okay. It was rending six, but it didn't matter. I didn't roll a six. Yeah, well, you need the six, same as me. So, I've got two heavy bolters, four shots each. One, two, three. Wait, let me know. Can I have a nap while you go through all the shooting, please? This is just the first gun. Oh, I know. First unit. Hitting on threes. No re rolls of misses. I know you bought another crap, though. So and he's wound on threes because they're string five. That'll be three more saves, basic saves. Alrighty. You could move two, cast a spell, and move the other four. Two, two, two. Two, two sixes, yeah. two sixes and, a and a two. So they saved. Yes, sir. That takes care of the Kratos. Is it? Are you sure you finished? <laughs> no. Oh. So let's go 
and look over at the contemptor. I'm going to take a shot at the Vindicator. Two shots <laughs> hitting on series. Both hit. Strength eight. I'm going against 13, five to glance, six to penetrate. <laughs> In this scenario, in this well, particular the scenario. Missed, but the other's a penetrating hit. <laughs> and you don't get an armor save this time, because he's flat out open. And it's an one uh, weapon, so it's plus two to whatever I have. Yep. Uh, you've got two wounds already. Uh, as far as I know, I only have you got You suffered the Glance and a penetrating before, so that's two. So that's two. Uh, and now you got another penetrating, makes it three. Uh, and I just rolled a six, so that's immobilized again. So, it's got and three wounds. Started at three. Okay. Okay. I rolled a six, basically, because it's plus two. Mm -hmm. Which is mobilized, but if you're already immobilized, you take another hull point. So you're up to four hull points now. So right there, I would stop. Okay. It might be five. Oh, where's he been hiding? Doesn't matter. How many hull points does he have? And then go and find somebody else. Okay. Basically, the vindicator. Uh, your turn. Hey. Four hull <laughs> points. So okay, he's wrecked. He's, he's gone. He's wrecked. He stays on there as de as okay. terrain. He didn't blow up, so he counts as. He's he just right. stays there, yeah. First kill for the wolves. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a long shot. I don't really. think I think these guys have the range. Uh, it doesn't matter, it's at the back. Closest guy to the closest guy. Yeah, they're just outside the range for the bolters. These guys, they're outside 12, but they're within range. So how many guys can see? One, two, he cannot. Three, four, five guys can see. And you kill them. That's all I'm allowed. Four or five, needing threes to hit. And they're still rattled, obviously. And fours to wound. I will wound you three times, but you get your basic two plus eight. Yeah, okay. Three. Three. And you saved them all. But I did what I was supposed to do. You rattled the cage. So that is right. That is it. The okay. land raider is not in any place. No, he stays there. I know. I'm just turning him around. Oh, to, so to remind you. Okay. Yes. And I do this in uh, so in micro too. He doesn't have any arcs of fire. So we're done. The space while well, shooting turn. I don't have anybody within charge range. Damn. I am not within. Th oh, am I within three inches? I don't think I am. I don't think so. Just outside. We're going to have to make sure you die. So that's it for turn two. Movement. Turn three, Imperial Fist movement. He is Leviathan move forward. He's within 12 inches. I'm going to react. I'm going to withdraw. You, no, no, no. You're supposed to bloody my claws in. Why would I do that? Just to make me very happy. So my initiative characteristics is four. I get to fall back four inches. I thought you were going to shoot. Yeah, bolters against that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The good news is these guys are skirmishers, so I can actually get a three inch yes. movement. Uh, that's another nine uh, But. So that's it for my first reaction. However, I'm taking, what do they call it, bloody claw or something. It's one of those space wolf leadership things. I get an extra activation in the movement phase. Oh. So Imperial Fist had finished their third turn of movement. As you can see, the, is it Tartarus? Tartius. Tartius Terminators have made it to the objective finally. 
with the Leviathan uh, right behind him. And over on the left, you can see the Cataphract Terminators are slowly making their way forward. And that last Vindicator, he's peeked around the corner of the building, giving himself 25% cover. And he can just barely skim the edge of the tread. So we're going to give the Kratos a 5 plus save instead of the regular 6. Okay, so he's fired. He's got three shots. This is skill four. He's to hit on a three plus. One shot misses, but your twin link you set, so you get three roll it. Did worse. Yeah. So two hit at strength nine. However, you're hitting the four shield. Uh huh. I have the flare shield, so you drop from nine to eight. Okay. And your ordinance is three. So I can't remember what the ordinance is. I gotta read it down here. Oh, ordinance. Okay. Here we go. Ordinance. Yeah, that's five. Roll two D six and pick the largest for armor penetration. So each of these dice you roll two. So, so first hit. So I have four dice. No, no. Add one at a time. No. Because you're doing penetration. Oh. And you have to take away the, so roll two dice for the first hit. You roll a 10 plus 8 is 18. Roll two more dice. Oh, you missed. The table's over here. Oh. Well, we've got two guys. Same. Same. Actually, 19. Just a and it rolled a 6 there. A 6 and a 4, so for 10. So remember, you went from 9 down yeah. to 8, so that'll be 18, this will be 19. So they're definite penetrations. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you take away the lowest one. So the orange and fives come away. So two sixes on your eights make them 14. They're glancing hits because he's armor 14. So he's going to take two uh, so glancing hits. Sort of like oh, and then there's that right. echo Except shot plus there. For That's for penetrating hit. Okay. Yeah. You uh, didn't well, penetrate, you glanced. Uh, you, can you, you only glanced. What's the armor on that thing? 14 all around. Oh, that explains so it. Uh, it's the same as the land reading. I got one myself. I just have it. Let me feel it. Exo, oops, stop. Exo shot. On a penetrating hit, yeah. See, that's the advantage of the Sakaran. You can roll, it's only strength eight, but on a six, it's a rebeam bow, you roll another d3 on top, which would allow you to penetrate. And then you could take, and on another six, get another penetrating bow. But, uh, yeah, you got here. robbed yeah. by the flare shield. Right, take that over. Yeah. Oh, but we said I was going to take and uh, yeah. get my 5 plus save. I wouldn't have saved either. So, he takes two glancing hits. So, that's still two points of damage. Two points of damage on him. How many he takes total? Uh, five. So yeah, what are you shooting next? Oh, I'm going to shoot the Terminators at the uh, infantry. Yep. The Stalkers? Yeah. Okay. Well, they're the closest guys, to be honest. I think... Yeah, I think they all have at least one shot. The only question is... How many are within 12 to do double tap with their combi bolters? So, anybody beyond that point only gets a single shot with a combi bolter. Six, eight. So, my ballistic skill is four. It goes down to three. No, your ballistic skill is three. It doesn't change. No, what is three? Sorry, your ballistic Yeah, it just says three. Your ballistic skill is four. You become three to hit, but you get a bonus to hit. So, you're hitting on two. So, basically, you're missing on once. One missed. One missed. The rest are hits. But you said those are company bolters, so they twin link, are they not? Yep. So, re roll him. You missed the ball. No, it's three, it's a hit. You missed the ball. Oh! <laughs> uh, 
I rolled a four. Okay. Strength four, toughness four. You're rolling fours to wound. Don't worry, folks. We might get a train eventually. Oh, stop it. Um, okay. That's a wound. That's a wound. That's a wound. I see three wounds. Only three. Only three. But I need threes to save. Yep. I will lose two. Yeah. So the question is, which two am I going to lose? And I think I'm going to be a cheesy guy. I'm going to take away these two. There's a reason for my madness. And that will be another panic test for that. Unit. So you got to take it now. No, I don't. I wait till after your shooting is done. Okay. You still have that Volkite thing? Volkite. So that's two shots. Yeah. And it's strength five. Oh, you're still hitting on three. Yeah. One will miss, one will hit. Yep. And you're wounding on a two. Two. Uh, you're six, which. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, and I will save it with a four. Oh. And you have your, is it two reapers? Yeah, the two reaper thing. They get so shots four each. shots. Four are shots. they affected by your rule? You said auto cannons are? Okay. Yeah, auto cannons are uh, the rule based on. Oh, now you're making me four impact. Shame on you. Well, you're supposed to know your rule. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is I took a two week, uh, I went to a, I took a siesta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Siesta, yeah, yeah. Like After strong, you took, you disappeared. Okay, uh, I get a plus one for all hit rolls. For what kind of weapon? With the uh, auto weapon. Yep. So that's an auto weapon. That's an auto weapon. So, so you're hitting on two, three, rolling one. Yeah, and I get repeat on six. You got two ones in there, so you better re roll them. Yeah, uh, you're needing again. Yes, first two. They all hit. Yeah. Strength seven, you're wounding on twos. I have to repeat. Oh, but your sixes, right? Yeah. Okay, the one will not wound. Cool. You have no sixes, so it's just regular saves. So three saves of three plus. Yeah. Cool. Well, I will lose another two. Yes. That's nice. Continue. Do it. Do it. You just want to make a nice, big... Okay, do you have any more shooting? Uh, I fired the, the back guy. You're the nose. I get two reapers. You got the boat, heavy boaters. I mean the boat. You fired the reapers, yeah. Yeah, and that. Now we got the guys who are outside 12 inches. No, we included those. Yeah, we included those. Now, that unit is fired. Yeah, the unit is done. Okay, the next is the Leviathan. All it has is the, you know, the Volkites. The yeah. I'll just get the Volkites. Um, so he can see two guys. Well, they're going to be targets. But you got six rolls anyway. Yeah. I know. But your ballistic skill five, so you're hitting on twos. You left the dice in here. <laughs> Forgive me. She's in the box already. So re rolling ones, you have one one. Two. two, you hit all, so you're wounding on twos again, because of strength seven, right? Yeah. <laughs> Super <laughs> six, whatever. Uh, we're going with everyone. What strength are they? Uh, six. Okay, so... Uh, strength six. I think you're wounding on threes then. Yeah. Let me double check. Toughness four, strength... Six, two pluses. There's a one. Okay, the six. So you win the, the six is yeah. a Volket. So uh, you've got three thing. attacks. One, two. So the on each attack so is three regular saves. What does it say it for the Volkite? Right. The Volkite, well, the thing I'm aware of is you get to do another boom sure. if I fail my saves. Yeah, that's yep. generally the That has nothing to do with the six. So I got to make three saves. Three plus. I will lose another two. You get to roll two more wounds. Yeah. Yeah. Two pluses. You got them. And I will save them. So, I still lost two more guys. That unit's gonna be... That leaves my sergeant. 
And Don't, he's not going to do that last. He's the no, he, 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 and he's fine. He a seven. So he's not running away. He should, but he's not running away. So that's it for shooting. Yep. Would you like to declare a charge? Oh, last epic defense. See, there's a method to my method. Oh, I know what it is, too. Right now, you want to shoot. If I charge forward, you can shoot up my right. If you charge forward, you might end up away from the objective and not get any points again. Oh, I need points. You got three points. The only thing I can charge you with it is with the Leviathan. Or the sergeant. Or the sergeant. I'm not doing either. I'm char I could charge the Leviathan because it makes sense, but I'm more concerned about that thing doing a flanking move. Ian's well, you should. Yeah. As well, you should. So, right, that's why I'm bringing these guys over. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not charging a charge. So, this is the end of your turn three. Okay, so obviously he's managed to make it to the objective. You get three points. Here's your magic point tracking dice. Oh. Give yourself three points. So, Space Wolf, turn three movement. Kratos backed up just a teeny little bit to get out of the line of sight and to be able to shoot through this building into the Leviathan. My brave sergeant from the Stalkers has moved forward and my Dreadnought has moved forward to get into range. My Land Raider backed up and unloaded the Slayers and it's now time for the firing squad. Everybody's going to shoot at the poor Terminators. Well, they have to flee. He's he still shooting. He has to run. Yeah. So Space Wolf turn three, the shooting. Well, <clears throat> see that tank? See those two? See this squad? See this squad, see this tank, they all fired onto the cataphracty. Managed to kill enough that they had to do a leadership test and they did fail. So now they're going to run away. And they run straight back towards their board edge. Six inches. But what's most important about that is that means they cannot claim points at this juncture. Remember, the whole squad moves back six inches. Got to move all those models. This is... That's just one guy. So, time for the Space Wolf charges. And we're going to start off... Contemptor will try to charge the Leviathan. Did you wish to react? Charge the Leviathan. So like really all you can do is shoot or not. Well, <laughs> basically, uh, uh, shoot. Who are you going to charge? Oh, and I'm charged with cataphract, so that's not going to hurt him. No. So, you're going to react not at all, I assume. Uh, I assume. Which Kratos wreck are you charging? I'm charging your Leviathan with my... Yep. Little yep. Contemptor. Contemptor. Oh, I'm going to shoot you. You're going to shoot me? Yes, I'm going to shoot you. Roll your six dice. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you can hit on two plus. They all hit. Yeah. It's strength six or five. Six. So Whoops. you're wounding on a five. five. I see one wound. Oh, that's two plus to save. Yep. Yeah. So let's see how far the contemptor charges. Uh, so he rolls Seven inches. Is I see that going to be enough? I think it is. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. So the contemptor makes it. And just to be a jerk, I'm going to charge with the sergeant. He has a thunder hammer. He has a thunder hammer. And he will run three inches. He can't make it, but he has to move his minimum, which is one and a half to two. He is now within the three inches. 
I was going to have to charge with the Slayers if he didn't make it. Yeah, that was your... But actually, I'm looking now, I'm not sure they had the range. Just barely had the range. But there's no need to charge them now. So uh, we'll just leave them there. We'll see what I can do. Yeah. But it doesn't matter to me because I've got my guy within range. Oh, you're a Dreadnought. You're still going to be able to contest it. Because uh, it's still contesting. So and I'm within three. Inches, what's your initiative? So. Oh, for the dread? Yeah. He's four. I think it's going to end up being simultaneous. Guys, what is this going to be simultaneous? Leviathan is four. Contemptor is four. Uh -huh. So it's the same time. And I got five attacks. And I get three. You look at all the models starting army. Half that number, you'll minus one. Oh. So, what's your weapon skill? Uh, weapon skill five. And I'm five as well, so you need four to go. Uh, what weapon are you using to attack with? Because it makes a difference. Oh, definitely. I think it's the Siege Claw that can do the most damage. Okay, and, so um, you're attacking with the Siege Claw? Uh, yeah. Sure. yeah. And uh, what does that uh, strength 12, I believe. Well, first of all, go ahead. Uh, I have to hit. You have to hit. You need 4 plus. Okay, that takes. I see three, 4 hits out of the 5. Oh, one miss. One miss. Oh. And you said it's strength. We need to get the strength. <laughs> strength is 8, but the seat. No, uh, my toughness is 7. Uh, What's your but strength? My, uh, my seat claw. claw is different. It's yeah, I know. You need to tell me what the seat claw is. Strength to uh, strength of ten. So I have toughness seven, I think you're wounding on a two. Oh I was sick of siege. Uh, so yeah, you're doing on a two. Yeah, it was tr actually I choose the two. Uh, so uh, siege drill. I made a mistake, so it's a siege block. I had declared it. Uh, it gets it's actually better for me if you choose the block. <laughs> Why? Or sorry, it's better for me if you use that. Got it backwards. It's better for me if you select the drill. Yep. Why? Because it doesn't do brutal. Well, brutal, I'm, I'm going to take the siege claw anyways. So I declare it. Yeah. So. yeah. so it's strength 10. You're wounding on a 2 plus. And I get the brutal 3. Only if you wound. So yeah. roll. <laughs> oh, there, that's easy. That was it right there. No, it wasn't. That was, that was what you rolled to hit. Now you rolled to wound. Oh. So, so you're wounding on a two. Oh. One fails to wound, so I need to save three wounds, which is translates into nine. So mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They are what? AP one weapon, right? Is each AP two. So I can't use the two plus save, it has to be the Invrombo five plus. Yes, One. Two, three, four, five, six. So six wounds made it through. He has six wounds. He's going to explode. Oh great! <laughs> but I get my attacks first because it's initiative, right? you go. So I got three attacks at the same time. Yeah. Three attacks, needing a four. I will hit you twice. And my claw is strength. Do 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 do. Strength nine, so I'm wounding you on a three. You might kill me too. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I know. So that's two wounds. It's brutal three. You need to make six saves, and again, it has to be on your involvement. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need to roll five. You so, need to roll fives on six dice. Uh, so you save one, two, three. Three go through. How many wounds did he have left? Three wounds left. So he explodes too. 
Congratulations, it's the destruction of the dreadnoughts. <laughs> <laughs> However, I got a bad feeling we got people within range. Oh, we all do. I think you're going to lose your sergeant. I'm afraid I probably am, in which case I won't get any points. I think I'll be losing a sergeant too. He's within range, and he's about four inches away from my fire. This is crazy. When destroyed, models within D6 inches. So let's roll mine first. Anybody within one inch, that's only you. So you're already blown up, we don't care. You get to roll how many inches away the explosion is. Okay, how many? One D6. I roll two. Uh, I'm more than two inches. And I think, yeah, you're more than two inches. So it's just the dreadnoughts are dead. Oh. Mm. Congratulations. Ooh, <laughs> that was a big boom. In a way, I'm glad the sergeant gets the problem. However, I was hoping to take out your Oh, I took a gamble, right? Because your dreadnought would still contest. I had to try to get him out of the way. The only way I could solve this situation, but this is the last turn. No, second last. So three inches, I'm in range. I get another three points. That'll take me up to six. Yeah. So I gotta charge forward. You have to we charge group. forward, get within three inches, and drive everybody away. Yeah. But everybody is only one guy, so you can probably uh, do it. I could do it. But you have to recover. Uh, yeah. You yeah. only get to do your initiative. Yeah. So you may as well roll your. Yeah. Uh, Whatever they call it, recovery. Of eight. I got it. You got it. You, got it. Uh, they but you only get to move your initiative, which is, is four. Four. And you have to stay within coherency. So yeah, well, that's a given. You can only, yeah, move him four inches. Yeah. And that sergeant can only go so that he's two inches away from him. You're not going to be able to get within range. No, I'm not going to get the. He, so was he can go forward, but he can go up to four. He has to stay within his four two inch before. Four inch, so yeah, he's. So that's the best yeah. he can do. Yeah, that's going to cost you the game right there. I think so too. But that was a fantastic battle, especially that one <laughs> dreadnought versus dreadnought. No, it's very rare. Oh! Shall we call it there? Eh, what time is it? It's quarter, 20 after 4. Basically, you're going to get your shooting, and then it's going to be my shooting in yeah. combat. I would need another two turns yeah. to at least to get one turn to get back. Mm -hmm. But then you'll be there with your horse carls. Yeah, shield. or yeah. my slayers will be there to yeah. contest. And contest, no points there. So. Yeah. And the thing is, you had to get within three inches of them and get rid of him mm. to cancel, to get the three points. There we go. So, last turn. Uh, those Terminators recovered. These Terminators advanced a bit, but not enough to get into the firing arc of the Kratos. And the Vindicator turned a bit so he could take a shot. Anyway, between the Vindicator and the Terminators, I lost my poor lone sergeant, so there's nobody at the objective at the moment. And these Terminators opened fire onto my Slayers and inflicted no wounds. Space Wolf, turn four. These guys stood still. I forgot to move the Land Raider, but I'm going to leave him where he is. He's not going to make any difference to the point outcome. This is good. My Slayers ran forward. They're now in range to protect the objective. And the Kratos isn't moving. He's got good line of fire to that Terminator squad. Guess what's going to happen next? Once we get all packed up. We tried to work out various solutions the Fisk could have done in that last turn. We probably spent about 15 minutes on it. 
The problem is, while the Tartarus Terminators regrouped in turn four, they could not move close enough to contest the objective in their turn. Remember, I still had that one space wolf sergeant hiding behind the pillar. So, because they couldn't get close enough to contest, and the cataphracts were too far away to run up, and we won't even talk about the Vindicator, they just could not prevent the Space Wolves from gaining those last two turns, three points each. So, totaling the scores, the Space Wolves got nine primary points. Imperial Fists only controlled the objective for one turn, so they only got three points. Both Warlords survived the battle, so no one got points for the Warlord kill. No models on the table qualified for Giant Killer, so zero for both sides. Last man standing. Graham did Pride of the Legion, so it's all Terminators for Infantry. This limited the number of units that could claim the objectives. He also had two Vindicators. Different variants, but still Vindicators. So he was running low on points in that regard. Wolves, on the other hand, bought both a Kratos and a Land Raider, both very expensive tanks, so they limited their numbers there as well. At the end of the game, the Imperial Fist still had on the table the Praetor and both Terminator squads and the one Vindicator hiding around the containers. Meanwhile, Space Wolves still had one Jarl, a tactical squad, a Slayer squad, the Proteus Land Raider, and the Kratos tank. So, once again, Space Wolves got Last Man Standing. Break the ranks. Well, once again, only the tanks really had a chance to fulfill the conditions in the first turn. Space Wolves and the Fist tanks tried to shoot at each other for that one-shot kill, but, once again, both failed to hit or do damage to each other. By the way, Games Workshop released an FAQ for the campaign book. They now state the secondary objective, First Strike, should be ignored. So I've crossed it off the list of secondary objectives. So this is the Space Wolves' second win, 10-3. to And we did do the roll to figure out the final decisive battle. I rolled a 5, and because Graham had no wins and I had 2, Technically, that's enough to force the third battle to be the final decisive battle. However, I think I'll speak to Graham and see if he wants to end the campaign already or if he wants to continue. Reviewing the battle, the Fists made a fatal mistake not going for the objective in the board center on their first turn. Could they have reached it with Tartarus Terminators? Technically, the Tartarus are not heavy, so they have the same running speed as my Wolf Stalkers. The Stalkers were, made, were able to make it, so depending on how far back behind the deployment line, the Tartarus Terminators could have taken the objective in their first turn and gotten a quick and easy three points. Then they would have also held the objective with a very tough unit. The Fists realized their error, came out turn two to make up for it, it's unfortunate that both the Space Wolf Stalkers and the Tartarus Terminators failed their leadership tests around the objectives during the game when they least wanted to fail. The fact that both the Dreadnoughts killed each other at the objective was also hilarious. So lots of bodies and debris around that objective. A successful leadership test here, a better saving through there, the battle literally could have gone either way. And that's the best way for a battle to end. So, overall, I like this mission much better than the Crucible of War. It's more fair, it forces both sides to have to fight for the same thing. And it comes down to both your army lists and how you actually use them. So that's it for this battle. Hopefully the next one will be a little better. In the meantime, here's hoping your dice roll well and your games are fun. Take care, everyone.